What going massive? I'm Zeba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now today is wash day. It's a very exciting day. It's always a very exciting day for me because I only get to do this once in a while, maybe once a month or twice a month. And so I have to put down everything else that I'm doing and I have to get into washing my hair because it's an entire day. When I say entire, I mean a full day of washing my hair. So, I know when I sit the table and I got things I cook, may I cook, but that's not the case. I will be using all natural ingredients, well at least mostly all natural ingredients, ingredients from my environment, ingredients from my garden, and I will be just sharing that with you. Uh, if you have been following my channel or you have been watching my videos, you would see or know by now that i have issues with androgenic alopecia and so i had to come up with my own um, regimen things that work for me things that are helping me to recover from my condition and so yes my wash day routine is a bit different from a lot of persons that i've seen or a lot of persons that i know so one of the things i like to do is to start my wash day with a little prayer and a little scripture and so while I won't be doing the prayer on camera, I am definitely going to be sharing my favorite hair scripture with you. I start off with a cleanse of my scalp. So I'll be using baking soda and lemon to neutralize the pH of my scalp and just to cleanse do a cleanse so that when I put on the other products they can easily absorb into my scalp and my hair shaft and it's also removes buildup because um, you know most of us uh, naturals we don't wash our hair so frequently and we consistently use a lot of products and so this helps to remove buildup the next thing I will be doing is to is to make my hair mask this hair mask will consist of, let me start with the oils, Moringa oil. So this is my brand of Moringa oil. It's called, the brand is called FZ Earth Essentials. And this is organic Moringa oil pressed from the seeds. This also is, I'll be using my brand of castor oil, which is 100% Jamaican black cold pressed castor oil. This also is one of my products, but just that it's not in the packaging. It's Moringa powder, but I also added some fenugreek. This is rice powder. This is freshly pressed avocado oil. I showed you how I did this on my channel, so you can check that out. Um, how I made organic avocado oil. And definitely one of my favorite wash day must have. All right, so molasses, this is definitely a must in my hair mask just because it adds a lot of, or it, it, it helps to retain a lot of moisture and it has so many benefits. It has vitamin B6, it has iron, it has uh, potassium, it has copper and so on. And honey, yes, I need this for moisture. Okay, so after the mask i'm gonna follow up with my shampoo and conditioner now i saw this i didn't even know that dr brana's product was a, a household name right i just picked it up because it says pure castile soap and because it also has hemp and almond and yeah i'm all for that life so i picked this up and i've been loving it uh, I've used it several times a little goes a long way so what I actually do is to because I won't be doing the demonstration of that so I'm just letting you know what I actually do so I would use just a little bit of this dilute it with some water I've seen where you're not supposed to allow this to get into your eyes so yeah I just put that in my spray bottle and dilute it with the water and use it as a shampoo and so for of after all of this goodness i will be going in with this conditioner i won't be using it for a deep conditioner in this instance i'll just be using it as a conditioner right so yeah this will be done after i wash my hair and over here i have 
my this is what i'll be using as my extract and this is definitely for my scalp especially in my problem areas so it consists of papaya leaf i split the papaya leaf in half because i'll be using some to do my rinse when i am through and this will just this part of the i'll soon get over here but yeah i split the papaya leaf in half i will be using some of that um afterwards all right so along with the papaya leaf i'm using some fresh neem leaves as well i picked these this morning i'm going to be using the stem of the papaya because again that's packed with a lot of nutrients and uh, definitely leaf of life so these i'm gonna blend them and after i blend them i'm just gonna spray them on my scalp and they're going to work along with the hair mask so this is for my scalp and the mask is for my hair now um after everything i am going to be brewing a tea using again leaf of life i am going to be using three leaves one the, the half of papaya leaf that was left over from the the extract and i'm going to be using some rosemary i will be boiling these so while i blended the other ingredients i'm going to be boiling these and this is just going to serve me for the week as a tea or the rinse that i use on my hair now this is a lot so i'm going to put together everything I might just do snippets of uh, when I'm putting together the stuff, especially the mask, so that you can see how I do the mask. So this rice powder is what I actually just put in my grinder and I powdered the rice particles. I find that using it this way works a lot better for me than to use rice water. So I'm using three teaspoons of this. So I'm just going to eyeball this just to get the desired thickness that I want. Next, I'm going to pour in my oil. So this is the avocado oil and I'm just pouring this in. And then I'm gonna pour in the castor oil and the moringa oil. This is the moringa oil so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in just a little bit next i'm gonna pour in the molasses now i also take this internally so i don't only use it well most of the things here i take them internally i don't only use them on my scalp i'm just gonna pour in i am going to pour in this the honey I'm going to mix these in. So you can see how the contents of my table have significantly reduced after I've done all my preparation. This just makes it easier for me to just pick up um, and go. And so just re repeating, I am going to be neutralizing my scalp with this. The baking soda and the lemon juice then i will rinse this out i'm going to show you the process i'll rinse this out after then i am going to apply my serum uh, and you see what i put in this already next my hair mask and then my shampoo and conditioner i've already gone ahead to detangle my hair look at this line people but that's going to show now where I come from last year so that you can see how much growth I have gotten right so I'm just gonna pull these down so that I can apply the products to my scalp and the roots now for the baking soda wash I'm focusing mainly on my scalp the baking soda helps to keep away fungus dandruff and it really lifts the grease and whatever you have on your scalp so I'm ready to begin Gonna saturate my scalp with this. Getting some of the buildup of the hair as well. The oils and so on from over the past weeks. I 
gonna focus a lot on this section of my hair. Just giving it a scrub with the pads of my fingers. And I basically do the same thing for the other parts. Just to loosen up the dead skin or the dead cells. And I go through and I scrub my scalp. Just scrub with the pads of my fingers. And I also try to, this is one of the techniques that I use. I try to lift the scalp, lift it, and pull it back and forth. Back and forth. This way you get blood circulating on the scalp as well. I just leave this on line for three minutes, not very long, because baking soda can cause your hair to dry out if you leave your hair exposed to it for too long. So it can actually cause your hair to dry out. So three minutes is good enough. I'm gonna neutralize now with the lemon water. If you don't have fresh lemon water, because I don't like the bottled lime lemon thing that they have going so if you don't have fresh lemons feel free to use apple cider vinegar that also works but due to all me can make apple cider vinegar and we can make this i'm working with the lemon water all right we know what exactly is in it Again, I just allow this to stay on for the same amount of time, three minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse it out. So I'm drying out some of the water out of my hair before I apply the mask. Just look at this scalp. Clean as a whistle. Clean, clean, clean. So it's time to apply the mask. And finally, well not really finally yet, but I'm gonna steam my hair now. I'm gonna put on my plastic cap. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go through with this extract, leaf extract, and I am going to spray my scalp. And then I put it under the plastic cap. I'm gonna let it stay there for at least three hours. Yeah, I know some person say half an hour, but at least three hours for me. Then I'm gonna rinse it out, wash, and yeah, follow up with my usual process after that. So you can see why I say my hair care routine, it's an entire day cause I have to get all the goodness seeped into my hair and it can be no rush, so yeah. So it's about uh, five o'clock now. I rinsed out some of the mask out of my hair, so I'm gonna shampoo now with the Dr. Bronner's uh, soap. All right, so this is the final part of my wash routine. For the evening I'm not even sure I'm gonna get to moisturize but um, I'm just gonna put my hair in plaits and 
maybe tomorrow or so I will follow up with the moisturizing routine so this is the product okay so wash day is i can say successfully completed um you can see my strands they are so moisturized my curl pattern just up yeah and that's a lot of moisture and i just parted the middle of my hair so that you can see what is happening on my scalp um how much my hair is growing in um the part isn't as wide anymore so yeah i'm just parting so you can see that yeah yeah so it's on to the next process but as i say tomorrow for that so thank you for watching and yeah just pick up on yourself